All right, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Larry Beecham, and I want to thank you so much for participating in tonight's live training. I'm here at my office here in Tampa, Florida. Uh, had a long day. Didn't even have a chance to get out of my monkey suit, so I look good for you tonight. I hope you can appreciate the fact that I don't normally do trainings in a suit. <laughs> well, hey, you know, with Joel and Shaniqua, it's worth it. So I want to first of all thank Joel and Shaniqua for uh, their effort to organize tonight's training call. Uh, I'm going to be working off of my dry erase board tonight. I didn't really want to do PowerPoint presentations. I really wanted to just kind of interact with you guys and talk to you directly and show you a few things on what it takes to be successful. Um, I got people calling me probably trying to get on, so let me take a look and see who this might be. This is Larry. Can I help you? Excellent. Yes, sir. Okay, you want to refresh the screen. Yeah, I'm actually just getting started. So just refresh the screen. Hit F5 to refresh your screen. You should see a video feed. And then you just press the play button. Or just close out the link altogether. Pull it back up. You should see a video feed. I'm literally online. I check with Joel. He can see the link, so you should, should be able to see it. All right. Yeah, I'm right in the middle of it right now. So yeah, uh, just go, just close out the link, pull it back up. It should show up for you. If not, you might have to get your daughter. Oh, okay, bro. Bye, bye. All right. So we got people calling in. Just wanted to make sure they can get on. I can appreciate that because tonight's training, um, <laughs> it's going to be good. So uh, again, I want to thank Joel and Shaniqua for hosting tonight's training. Before we get started. I do want this to be interactive, and so what I want you to do is write down the following phone number, and that will give you an opportunity to text me during this training tonight with questions and comments and all that. I like live interaction, so I want you to text or comment by texting to 727-238-5089. Let me write that down. All right, hopefully you guys can see that. I'm going to sit in front of it <laughs> for just a second, but all right. Okay, I want to sit in front of it. So hopefully you can read that. 727-238-5089. I'm actually going to adjust this in a minute so we can actually see the full board. Um, but um, this training is going to last approximately an hour. I want you guys to be focused. So if you are watching television or playing uh, Flappy Birds on your iPhone or Candy Crush on Facebook or whatever you might be doing, please do me a favor, do yourself a favor, and give me your undivided attention for the next hour. It'll be worth it, trust me. If you're here to learn how to make some money with what you already know, and that's what we've been promoting all week long, um, then it's worth it to give me your undivided attention. I'm going to be telling some stories, sharing my personal experience with what I'm going to be teaching you guys, and give you an opportunity to uh, allow me to coach you on making sure that you can transform the knowledge that you have into real world money, all right? So if you could send me a quick text message right now and let me know who you are and where you're calling in from tonight, that will be great. So 727-238-5089. Send me a quick text message with your name and location, and that will be great. And also so that you can see the feed and hear me fine, please confirm that by, of course, sending that text message. That will let me know that you guys can hear me. Now there's a little bit of a delay on the video feed, so... Um, when you hear me say that, you'll probably just start texting and whatnot, and I'll jump right into this thing, okay? So while I'm waiting on you guys to text me, I'm going to make my adjustments so you guys can see the full screen here. All right. All right, so give me a second to cut some lights on. All right, let me get some text messages from you guys here. Let me know you guys can see and hear me. And then we can get this party started and get myself adjusted here. All 
I want you to know that after tonight's training, everyone that's registered is going to receive a link from me on a training that I did called uh, Affiliate Marketing Dominance. This is like a six to seven video module that I want to give everybody as a free thank you for participating in tonight's webinar. That's a, that's a training that I sell. I've sold it for as much as $100 um, to lots of people, and tonight I want you to have an opportunity to have that so you can benefit from the value of affiliate marketing, and that's one of the streams of income that I actually have out there. So, uh, all right, now you guys aren't texting me, so I'm going to assume you guys can hear me and just don't want to text me. Uh, let me send a text out to Joel here real quick. Make sure Joel... Hey, Joel, if you could just send me a text message, let me know you can hear and see me. I know you're in the background just listening, but I do want to make sure you guys can see and hear me, okay? I'm going to put this phone down. Let's find Joel. There he is. All right. We're going to assume you guys can see and hear me again. The number is 727 uh, 2385089. Send me a text message. Let me know that you can see and hear me. And also, if you have any questions, that'll be excellent uh, as we go along in tonight's training. All right. I won't belabor this any longer, so let's jump right into this. Let me rewrite this so it looks a little better so you guys can call or text any questions. So Joel says he can see and hear me, so that being said, I'm going to go ahead and make this thing happen. All right? I want to tell you a quick story. Um, some of you may or may not know me, so let me just kind of take a minute or two to kind of give you my background and why Joel and Shaniqua uh, partnered with me tonight. I actually reached out to them and asked them if they would be willing to host a training, and they said yes, and that's why you're here. But just so you understand my background and my credentials and what makes me credible to teach this, I've been a professional internet marketer since 2010. I actually used to be a cable guy from Ohio, Larry the Cable Guy. I drove a cable truck for about eight years, and then I got involved in the real estate industry just as an assistant to a broker. Got my license, but I didn't sell real estate. I was just his assistant. Three months later, got downsized. That was February 2009. So at that point, I decided to try to find a way to make money from home. Ended up finding a mentor by the name of Cedric Harris. Joined a marketing system called My Lead System Pro. And uh, in six months, from March of 2009 to September of 2009, I became one of the notable top producers in that system. But that particular story is very relevant to tonight's training because it was my first opportunity to appreciate what I'm going to teach you guys tonight. All right, so the first thing I'm going to tell you is I made over $15,000. in under two hours. Okay. I made over $15,000 in under two hours from this information that you're going to learn tonight. September 16, 2009, 427 people purchased a product that I created for my brain cells at $37 each. Okay, now it's an instant download product. So you do the math on 427 times 37. 100% of this came to me. I didn't split any commissions. I didn't have any affiliate program. Every bit of that $37 came to me, minus the PayPal fee, which might have been two or three bucks or something. I don't know. But that was my very first experience with appreciating what you guys are going to learn tonight. Um, $15,000 in two hours in bad. But I'm going to show you how I did that. Now, you can't just walk up on this. There is a method to it, but I'm going to show you what that method is tonight. But this is September 16th of 2000. I was the first time I ever really appreciated that somebody was willing to pay me for what I knew. And, and this money, this is the most money. So even to this date, that was 2009. This is 2014. 
I've never ever been able to do better than that in that amount of time on anything else other than what I know right here. By and large, everybody looking at me tonight can absolutely do this, but you got to learn how to do it and you got to learn how to believe you can do it. And I'm hopefully going to help you with that tonight. But it was my big aha moment that I have signed up in opportunities, I've signed up in businesses, I've made money in a lot of things. But the one thing that I made the most money from, the, mo the thing I made, had the most fulfilling uh, experience in, is not selling anything outside of myself. It was everything that I had already knew inside of myself. And so tonight I want to show you how to monetize that. So that was my first opportunity um, to actually do that. Now, the second time I actually did this was with the help of another gentleman. Let me write the number up here again. I actually erased it. The second time I had an opportunity to do this was with a gentleman by the name of Cesar Ramirez. And Cesar approached me with a product that he had. Okay? He had created his own uh, brain cells. I call it selling your brain cells. His own brain cells product from his knowledge. So he contacted me and wanted to do a training with me very similar to what we're doing tonight. He wanted to do one with me with his product. And he had a $67 product that he wanted to sell. All right. And so we worked it out where I would receive 50% of whatever he sold on those $67 products. All right. In twenty in less than 24 hours, he did 122 sales. Okay. At $67 each. Okay? That's over $8,000 that he and I did, and then we split that, you know, in two. So he get $4,000. I made $4,000. That training that we did took us about an hour and maybe 90 minutes to complete for us to be able to make $4,000. And guess what? It was leveraging his brain cells. It was leveraging the knowledge that he acquired at that time from Craigslist marketing. Okay. So those are two examples of things that I've been able to do. In my PayPal right now, I have over 70, 70 PayPal buttons from products that I have created over the last five years. Stuff I did back in 2009, 2010, 2011, 2012, 2013, I'm still making money from because I'm still selling my brain cells. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to start off with another story. And by the way, I, I use the word of God a lot, you know, because I'm a man of God, and I think it's relevant any time that I speak about any knowledge that I give reference and reverence to where I'm getting the knowledge from, and that's the word of God. And so um, that's my style, and hopefully you're not offended by that. Most people aren't. But I want to just share with you a quick story from the word of God. This comes out of 2 Kings chapter 4, and this story is really the foundation of what this call is about tonight, is appreciating what is happening in this story as a backdrop. So let me tell you what the story is. Second Kings chapter four is a story they call the widow's oil. And this is a popular story in certain in certain circles. But here's how the story goes. Second Kings chapter four, go read it. There's a woman who is actually dirt poor. I mean, like dirt poor, okay? And she was so poor that her sons were actually about to be taken away into slavery to pay off her bills. Her son, her husband had died. She's a widow. She couldn't pay her bill. She was poor. And she was crying out to the prophet Elisha about her situation. So the prophet Elisha said to the lady, kind of, well, you know, I'm not really sure what you want me to do about it. And he asked her right after that the following question. All right. So he asked her, what do you have in your house? Okay. Now she's poor. I'm like, she's dirt poor. I'm looking around for a cup. I meant to grab one. But anyway, she's dirt poor. And he says to her, after she cries out to him about her poverty, what do you have in your house? Her response, I don't have anything. Now you would think he's standing there looking at how poor she was. He could see for himself that she didn't really have anything. But her response was powerful as it relates to what he said once she responded. She said, I don't have anything except for this pot of oil. Okay, she had a pot of oil sitting there, all right? So when she said that to the prophet Elisha, he told this woman to do three things. The first thing he told her to do was gather 
pots. Okay? He told her to gather pots. He told her to go borrow those pots. Go, go get all the pots you got in your house. Go borrow as many as you can from your neighbors and we'll bring them all in here. So her sons and her uh, went out and gathered pots from the neighbors, gathered pots from everybody, right? So that was the first thing he told her to do. The second thing that he told her to do, once they gathered all the pots, is start pouring the oil out. Is to pour out the oil. Now the Bible records something pretty powerful. It says that that pot of oil kept flowing oil as she kept bringing pots. And when she finally ran out of pots, she couldn't borrow any more from the neighbors. There was none left. The oil stopped flowing. I'm going to come, to come back to that. But the second thing he told her to do was to pour out the oil. The third thing that he told her to do was to go sell the oil. Okay? Now, once he told her to go sell the oil, the Bible records that two very powerful things happened to this lady. The first thing that happened to her was she was able to pay off all of her debt. Now, you got to understand, this lady's sons were about to be taken into slavery because she was so poor she couldn't pay her bills. But after talking to the prophet Elisha, she had enough money that she could pay off all of her debts, every last one. That's the first thing. The second thing that she was able to do, according to Scripture, is live off the rest. Now, I don't know what you've sold. But I haven't sold enough of anything that I could just stop selling anything and live off the rest. That means that she got pretty rich selling that oil. I don't know what kind of oil that was, but she got pretty rich selling the oil. So here's my point, ladies and gentlemen. You right now might be experiencing some financial challenges and difficulties, and you might have been going outside of yourself trying to figure out how to make money with this and with that. But I want to tell you tonight that you are like the widow in this story, and that the oil in this example that you need to pour out is right here between your ears, okay? So when I say, when she said what's in your house, my question is, I'm going to change this up here, and I'm going to ask you, what do you have in your mind? What's going on right now in your mind? What do you have in your mind? And so the first thing that you're going to have to learn how to do, which is what tonight's call is, is all about, is what gathering pots mean. What does that really mean and how you can do that? Pouring out the oil. What exactly does that mean and selling the oil? So tonight is about you pouring out the oil. Hey, how you doing? Uh, you? I'm good. So tonight is about you pouring out the oil. Tonight is about you learning how to take what's in your head and get wealthy from it. Get rich from it. I mean, like, for real, for real, get rich from it. Okay? So that's the widow's oil story. The first challenge that most people have when it comes to being able to monetize that kind of stuff. Hey, I'm, what's up? We're doing a webinar. Oh, okay. I'm going to see, you know, see That's cool. Yeah, that's cool. Okay. I appreciate it. All right. All right. Um, hey, I'm in my office. I'm going to show you guys from my so you can appreciate it. I got this little office space here. So they're actually running in that little door right there. They're running some print work and some other stuff. So. I ran over here to kind of get away from the kids. <laughs> All right, so that's got nothing to do with tonight's trying when you know who I was talking to. Okay, so the, one of the biggest obstacles that most people run into when it comes to appreciating what it means to sell their oil or sell their knowledge is they dismiss the significant value that they have with their normal walk around knowledge. And that's a huge mistake. And so here's what I want you to understand. Okay. All right. This is Mount Value, okay? This is like Mount Rushmore or whatever. This is the Mountain of Value, all right? Now, the first thing I want you to think about is what is something that you know well, all right? So let me, let me put this I know up here. I know dot, 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 all right? I want you to think about what you know. Now, most people will are so, so used to dismissing their value, so used to missing the value of the oil sitting right there, that they don't even think that the fact that you know how to raise a child well is on the mountain of value. The fact that you know how to do things like take care of a lawn is the mountain of value. The fact that you know how to teach chess is a part of the mountain of value. So 
Uh, the fact that you know how to organize a webinar like Joel and Shaniqua did tonight to get as many people on here tonight as they've gotten is the I know statement. It's I know how to do something. Some of you might remember the movie The Matrix, okay, and that's where I'm getting this from. And in The Matrix, the first movie, Neo was in this chair, and he had this thing plugged into his head, and they uploaded knowledge of Kung Fu to him, right? So right when he got the knowledge, he sits up and goes, I know Kung Fu. I know Kung Fu, right? And so I say to people, what is your I know? It could be photography. It could be, uh, you know, pet care. It could be gardening. It could be humor. It could be anything business related. Everybody has something that they know. Now, here's the problem, though, on the mountain of value. I need you to appreciate where I'm going with this, all right? So let's take, for example, something that you might know, all right? Maybe you can text in to me and let me know what it is that you know. But I'm going to use Shaniqua and Joel tonight. They know how to organize a successful training call like this. All right. Now, on the mountain of value, you have the base and you have the peak, all right? Up here at the peak are what we're going to call the gurus, okay? These are the people who make millions and millions and millions of dollars have a credible presence, you know, people know who they are, they're well known, etc. And they're at the peak of the mountain. The problem here though, this is where most people dismiss their value because they say to themselves, well I'm not a guru. So because I'm not a guru, well nobody will listen to me. So therefore since nobody will listen to me, I have no real value. That's not true, right? So what I want you to appreciate is, using Joel and Shaniqua as an example, and on the mountain of value, from the base of the mountain to the peak of the mountain is all kind of what we call on a mountain elevations. All right? So I'm going to draw an elevation right in here. Okay? And I'm going to draw a picture of Shaniqua and Joel right here. All right? That's Joel and there's Shaniqua with a little bit of hair. All right? Joel and Shaniqua Burrell, they're on the mountain of value at this elevation of the knowledge as it relates to organizing a call like this. Now, there's about 50 plus people on this call right now. That's a decent sized conference. Now I know people who can get thousands and thousands of people on a call, right? Well those people will be somewhere up in here. But well, here's my point. From in here, this let me change colors. Okay? Right in here, okay, is where they have climbed on the mountain of value as it relates to the elevation. So there's people down here at the base of the mountain of value who have no earthly idea how to get anybody to come to anything, whether it's a conference call, a hangout, a webinar, you name it, right? So for Shaniqua and Joel, this is where their money is. This is all up in here is where their money is. Because from the base of the mountain of value to where they are, they can credibly say, I have organized a conference call or a hangout that had 50 people on it. If you want to learn how to get 50 people on a conference call, I can teach you how to do that. Buy my training on how to do that. They can also teach you how to get an expert like me. Now, that's another thing. Some people don't know how to even contact somebody that has credibility to teach on anything, right? They can also within this value in here, teach you how to do that. Teach you how to contact somebody. Teach you how to create a relationship. Teach you how to get an expert to come on and train or teach on something. They know conference calls or they know hangouts or whatever name you want to give it, right? So no, they haven't been able to successfully, to my knowledge, get a thousand plus people on a conference call. It doesn't matter. Because guess what? The more knowledge and experience and success they get, they'll climb higher and higher on the mountain of value. Then they'll be able to increase the amount of value that they have. They can increase their value. Then they'll come up here. They'll increase more value. At this point, they'll be probably so well known that people will be reaching out to them to do stuff. Then they'll climb higher on the mountain of value. See, these are all different elevations on the mountain of value. So you got to stop despising your knowledge. you got to – let me say something. You got to stop treating God's ideas like the viruses on your computer that you need to run the Norton antivirus to get rid of. 
See, a lot of you have knowledge that people are willing to spend money for, and you're either afraid to sell it, or you don't appreciate the fact that people are willing to buy it. One way to know for sure if somebody's willing to buy what you know is go to Amazon.com right now. Not, well, not right now during this call. But my point is, if you ever wondered if anybody was out there already buying informational photography, informational pet care, or gardening, or humor, or business, or raising a child, or organizing a conference call, it's already being sold by somebody who appreciates what I'm talking about. Have you ever bought something that was for beginners? Well, guess what? That's down here. There's people in my business model. I've been involved in the network marketing and the, and the internet marketing world for years. And there's people who've never made any money at all in our industry. And I've actually seen people produce training says, I'm going to teach you how to make your first $100. Well, for somebody who's never made any money that's down here at the base of the mountain of value as it relates to making their first $100, they'd be willing to spend some money on that information because it's their first $100. Generating your first 10 leads. There's people right now, I, I've coached many people who've been on the internet for years and couldn't figure out how to get 10 simple leads. Well, guess what? There's people out there teaching people how to get their first 10 leads. You ever heard of the dummy series of books? All of the whole dummy series is all designed to be about basic information. Wow, the mountain of value. you got to be able to appreciate the mountain of value in order for you to be able to be successful. All right? So... If you got any questions, I want you to start texting in your questions, all right? Now, let's go back to how I was able to make $15,000 in two hours. Now, you can do the same thing, but see, what most people won't tell you is that you need some structure in order to do that. And tonight, I want to give you what the structure is, okay? Two things. All right, so the things that you're going to need to be able to do to sell what I did or anything at any significant value is going to be under the, these three categories that I'm going to tell you, okay? Matter of fact, I wrote this a little big. Let me, let me change up how this looks. So there's four things. I don't care if you want to sell $1,000 worth of information, $2,000, $10,000, $100,000, doesn't matter. In order for you to do that successfully and in large numbers, you're going to need the following four things. Okay? And the cool thing about these four things is that you can either borrow them or you can build them. When you build them, it's slow. When you borrow them, it's fast. And so you want to be over here as you know to start off while you're building over here. Okay? That's the first. So let's go back to 2009, 9-16 of 09, when I made that fifteen thousand dollars. And people used to ask me, how in the world were you able to make over fifteen thousand dollars in two hours? And it, I scratched my head on that for a little while to figure out what it was, and I discovered these four things of what it took. And at that time, you got to understand, I was six months into my internet marketing career, so I had a little bit over here on the built side, but I had most of it on the borrowed side. All right? So watch out. Here it goes. The first thing you're going to need is some credibility. Okay? You're going to need some credibility. Now, I got online in March of 2009. And I did this training in September of 2009. And in that six months window of time, I was in this marketing system called MLSP. All right? And I got good at a strategy called LinkedIn. I'm sorry. I got good at, let me clarify. LinkedIn is a social community, a social website like Facebook. And I became very good at generating leads on LinkedIn. I was getting 40 plus leads a day on the high end. Okay? Now watch this. In March of 2009, when I got online, I didn't know, I didn't ever heard of LinkedIn. But by September of 2009, six months later, I was getting 40 leads a day. So in that six months window of time, I learned how to do some things. And because I learned how to do some things, it allowed me to recruit some people and become present on a leaderboard in their back office. So 
I have built a little credibility, right? I built a little credibility because there was a few thousand people that were in that marketing system. But that wasn't enough for me to do that. I hadn't had enough experience for me to use in order to do this, so I had to borrow a little credibility also. Now, how did I borrow the credibility? Well, the marketing system that I was in had the credibility. And the fact that I was a part of their system and they endorsed me boosted my credibility. It's like you ended up on Oprah Winfrey suddenly. Like, somebody never heard of you before? Well, guess what? If you show up on Oprah Winfrey show back when she was Oprah, like doing an Oprah Winfrey show at 4 o'clock in the afternoon, overnight millionaires come out of there. If, if I've seen people get on Oprah that had a small business. Oprah said, oh, you got to have this candle. This is the greatest smelling candle in the world. And that person shows up at the Oprah Winfrey show, boom, it's a success. Why? Because Oprah had the ultimate credibility. And you get to lean on her credibility because she's Oprah Winfrey. So that make, if that makes sense, then understand that I needed to build some credibility or borrow some credibility. So I had a combination of both of these things. All right? The second thing you're going to need is a responsive list. Okay? Now, at that time, I think I may have had 1,500 people on a list. Okay? That's a decent-sized list for six, for six months' work, 1,500 people, especially for a rookie marketer. All right? So I had a little bit of a list that people knew of. However, the company that I was in had a list of hundreds of thousands of people at that time. Well, I, that's a little bit of an exaggeration. They probably had maybe 50, 60,000 people on a list. Okay? 50, 60,000 people on a list. Right. So because their list is way bigger than mine, I was able to benefit from the power of their actual list. Okay? The next thing that I needed to have is leverage. Okay, tiny little bit of leverage, huge leverage over here because of the marketing system that I was in. The fourth thing is a relationship. Okay? Had a little bit of both of these. All right? So in my case, I had a little bit of both. But if you're just getting started, all right? You can borrow all of this stuff. You don't need to have any of your own credibility. I, I had a guy contact me who actually, <laughs> ironically, has one of the most successful network marketing companies in the history of the world. If I mention him in the company, you know what I'm talking about. But in September, October of 2009, he had gotten involved in this marketing system. I had been involved in this since March. He had already, he came in knowing me as a credible source. So what he did was he contacted me and interviewed me about my LinkedIn strategy. He had absolutely no credibility when it came to LinkedIn. I was the one that people was running around calling the LinkedIn king, right? You still, to this day, people still call me that in certain circles. So if this were him, he had no credibility. He had to borrow mine. He had, a, he had really no list. He was leveraging my list. Okay, or he, he, had, he didn't have any, he had a little bit of leverage, and he had no real relationships. So he had a check mark in one of the four areas. He borrowed the rest from me. Okay, he, he jumped on my back and got the rest of the stuff because he understood what I'm telling you. And that interview turned into an information product for him that he was able to actually give away. All right, he gave it away, but he could have actually sold it if he wanted to. So in order for me to do, so if you want to make any kind of significant money like this, you've got to be able to have this stuff in place to structure. All right, now, you can either... Even in the system, you can build or you can borrow a system. Okay? Obviously, I borrowed the leverage of this system, but you can build your own. Okay? You can build your own system. I have a marketing system called Virtual Profit Network that has about 16,000 um, active members in it right now. I built that, me and a partner of mine built that system. And because I run the system and I own it, well, you know, I got 16,000 people that respect me. I have credibility with those people. It's our list. That list of the 16,000 members doesn't represent how big their list really is. Um, and the list creates leverage, and obviously I have a relationship with those people. Okay? So this is the formula, all right? And you need to learn how to build out this formula in order to be able to successfully do that level of business. She's back. <laughs> I hope this is making sense for you. Talk to me, ladies and gentlemen. Send me a text message to 727-238-5089.
and let me know you guys can hear me and see me that you're appreciating what we're talking about. Okay? So that's kind of the foundation of what it's going to take for you to be successful. Now, let's talk about the levels of information products that you need to create. Okay? This assumes that you've let go of your doubt of your value. That you're like, I'm no longer going to dismiss my value. I'm not going to despise my oil anymore. I recognize my oil, and I'm going to start pouring out my oil into vessels. All right? So the first level is a free giveaway. Okay? You want to have a level one that's your free giveaway. The next level is your seven to eleven. I call it your seven to eleven dollar product. All right, seven to eleven dollars. Okay, level three is four. Level four will be. 197, 497, and level 5 will be anything over 497. Okay? Joel and Shaniqua, can you guys hear me and see me okay? So let me know you guys are there. And anybody else is out there, 727-238-5089. All right. So these are the five levels of, of information products or brain cell products that you need to have in place. Now let's talk about each one of these. The free giveaway. Most people have a challenge with understanding how to actually set up a free giveaway item. But this really is a slice of the thing that you ultimately want to sell. All right? So let's think about it this way. All right? Let's say this is pie. All right? Have you ever been in the mall and seen someone walking around, or not walking around, but they have like a tray? Okay? And on that tray has a little samples. They have two picks of little samples, little cups of some kind of sample that you can try. They're giving you a sample. All right. Now, what is that sample? The sample is a piece of the real thing. It's not like a sample is not separate from the thing that you're trying to sell. The sample is the thing that you're trying to sell. Now, so you want to learn how to how to create your main product, whatever that's going to be, and then be able to start slicing off free pieces of it. Here's why. First of all, people like free stuff. But more importantly, when you can give someone a piece of the real thing, they make one of two assumptions. If that sample, it, think about the last time you had a sample, all right? If the sample is good, they assume that everything you have is good. If the sample is good, even if that's not true, okay? They assume that everything that you have is good. But if the sample is not good, they assume that everything you have is not good, even though that might not be true. And so the most important thing you can do is take a piece of your best stuff and start giving it away for free. Giving it away for free. Let me give you a story on that. Um, let's say that you move into a brand. Okay, I'm using myself. I'm, I relocated to Tampa, Florida from Ohio at one point. But let's just use me as an example. Let's say I just relocated, and I'm in this new neighborhood. And uh, I'm, I'm just moving in, and there's a guy across the street named Joel. All right, Joel and Shaniqua Burrell, people I don't know, but they're across the street. So they come and introduce themselves to me and, as Joel and Shaniqua from across the street. We have a little small talk, and before we leave, Joel says, listen, Larry, I want to give you and your family a housewarming gift, and he gives me a free box of gardening tools. Okay? He gives me a free box of gardening tools. <laughs> So I say thank you, and he goes on his merry way, right? Next week or so, I'm all moved in. I'm in my yard trying to get it to look good, you know, cutting the grass, fooling with the flowers. I look over at Joe's yard, and I see that his lawn looks like something out of Better Homes and Gardens. And I automatically assume that he hired a servant. So I ask, hey, man, did you hire a servant to do that? He said, nope. I got this brochure that says 10 tips on how you can make your lawn look like a pro did it. I can give it to you if you want to. He's like, well, yeah, let me have it. So Joe gives me a free brochure on how to get my lawn to look good, okay? So I, I look at this brochure, I start doing what he teaches me to do, 
And get, lo and behold, I start getting the result that I like, right? I have to notice that every time I talk to Joel, he automatically brings up some information and value that helps me. When it comes to my grass, when it comes to my shrubbery, my bushes, my roses, whatever, he's always just sharing. Then I also notice that whenever possible with other, other neighbors, just in conversation, even sometimes a neighbor comes specifically to his house for some help, there he's giving it away for free. And so I registered in the back of my mind that, hey, this dude is an expert on landscape in this example. So one day I decided I can no longer take care of my lawn. And I'm like, man, I can't keep this up. I got it looking good, but there's no way I can time-wise keep this up. So I say to myself, well, I need to hire a service, but I don't know anybody. I just moved to this area. And my conscious mind goes, hey, Joel would know. I'll, call, I'll go see Joel. He'll give me a referral. Right? So I go for the first time and knock on Joel's door and say, hey, man, listen, I need a referral for a landscaping service. Man, I got my lawn looking good like yours, but I can't afford to keep it up. Can you help me out? Joe's go over to his desk, kind of like I'm doing right now. I said, yeah, I got a referral for you. So Joe goes down to his, uh, off to his desk, pulls out a business card, hands it to me, and I look down and go, Burrell Landscaping Service? You own a landscaping business? Yeah, Larry, I own a landscaping business. <laughs> right? So the power of that is, because he's been giving away stuff to me for free for so long, I'm now ready to spend some money somewhere in here. Okay? I don't know where yet, but I'm ready to spend some money. And the significance here is this. I'm not going to have his competition back their truck up in my driveway for any service, even if their reputation is better and even if they're cheaper. Why? Because my relationship was built with Joe because from the time he met me, he gave me a free, 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 constantly dripping on me, constantly giving me stuff away. So ladies and gentlemen, what you think right now doesn't have value, actually has more value than you think even if you give it away. You can't lose by giving, ever. You never lose by giving. Are you learning something tonight? I hope you are. So your free giveaway leads to your first level product. And this first level product is an opportunity for you to really start to see that people are willing to spend money and this is really a low barrier to entry. By the way, I, I forgot to add something here. A couple of these I'll just put these first couple. Okay. You want to have what we call risk reversal. Okay. You sell a lot more products when you have risk reversal. All right. So you create risk reversal. What that means is when you're going to sell something, you offer a 100% satisfaction guarantee. And some people get worried about that, but no need to worry because if your value is good, nobody wants their money back. Nobody really buys something hoping to get their money back. They're buying it, hoping to get out of it what they bought it for. But if your stuff's good enough, nobody will ever. This is just psychological. Okay, you want to create risk reversal. Remove the risk from them investing in what it is that you have. So even if it's only seven dollars, offer a 100% guarantee on their money back, and then deliver way more value for the seven dollars than they expected. Which brings me to my next principle. And I'll show you how to do this, okay? For every dollar that you're trying to get, you better be giving away $10 in perceived value. This is a Zig Ziglar principle, okay? For every, okay, now let me also throw the word free, okay? I've had people say, Larry, my item is free. I can't give it away. The problem is there's no value that people can see in it. They need to see monetary value even if it's free. And you've got to learn how to structure things so that you can give things away to people that they see the monetary value. So when they start spending money, if you're trying to give $10, you need to have $100 of value built into that some kind of way. If you're trying to make $100, you've got to try to have $1,000 of value built into that some kind of way. When I made my sale back in 2009 of $37 a watt, I had given my book away. Now listen to this. I had wrote the book, and I gave it away to 10 of the top marketers in the very same system that I was involved in. The top 10 marketers, I gave my book to them. And I said to them, read the book if you have time by the time the webinar is, because it's only a 60-page book. And 
tell me what you got out of it. Tell me the value of the book. And on that webinar, I either had a written quote from those people or I had them actually unmute themselves and come give me and everybody else their opinion. And several of them said that I would have spent $100 or more just for the first couple of chapters. One guy even said that there's a guy named Perry Marshall at the time that was actually uh, the, 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 the big guru when it came to Google AdWords back then. And he said, my book was better than the Perry, it was on a level of a Perry Marshall quality content. One of the owners of the marketing systems told me that I needed to sell it for $147 minimum. He said, because it wasn't just a book, it was a, it was a literal course on how to be successful in LinkedIn. That was getting, that's what got people excited about an opportunity because they could see the, the massive value in what he, they were saying. And there were people getting results. So anyway, that's the goal is trying to get at least $10 of perceived value. And that's a matter of understanding how to lay out that structure so that you can give people that perceived value. Okay? So your first information product, all right? Your first information product should be one of three types of information products. This is the easiest way to go. I'm going to list these in order of ease, okay? The first one is an audio. This is the easiest, and you can go to a website called Free Conference Call. Free, I'm abbreviate, freeconferencecall.com, okay? You go to freeconferencecall.com and get a free account. You can dial in to their conference call line, hit star 9 with an access code, and you can record an audio for free like that quick, all right? And that could be your instant giveaway. So as an example, a great giveaway would be a list of some sort. Like I have an audio called 30 Things Top Producers All Have in Common. 30 Things Top Producers All Have in Common. Now I've been a top producer and I know some. And so I made this recording on free conference call that I give away on my website. But I give it away because I have a leadership program that I want to teach people how to actually become leaders. So I give them a list, I ask them to listen to the list and figure out which one of these that they have or don't have, and that leads to, guess what, my first level product, or my second level product, I don't remember which. But my point is, you can do an audio. You can do anywhere from 30 minutes to 90 minutes on an audio. Next one is a video. And I put this second because, you know, you may need some editing, and all that. But it can be a YouTube video, which is also free. Okay? Then the third thing is a PDF or an ebook. Okay? So these are the three formats that you can actually create when it comes to your actual information product. All, I have all three of these. Okay? I'm a published author on Amazon. Okay? So you can put something on Amazon for a Kindle book for, for free, believe it or not. <laughs> all right? Videos, you know, and all three of these you can sell. All three of these you can give away. It doesn't really matter. Um, but this is how you want to start your first foundation. And you need, for the most part, for someone to handhold you to make sure that you can actually lay out the structure this right. But the truth is, tonight you can go out to free conference call and you can actually do an audio. Matter of fact, let me check my time. I'm just talking. I'm sorry. Okay, man, running, running out of time. Okay, so uh, you can do an audio, you can do a video, you can do a PDF to kind of get you into the game of selling your information. All you really need is a PayPal. You really don't even need a website. Some people are like, I don't have a website. You don't need a website. You can do a PayPal, which is free. And you can do Dropbox as an example, which I believe they have a free version. Okay? So you have, let's say you create your audio with, with, with my help, help you create your first audio, and you can create a PayPal button that people can go to and actually purchase your audio, and then you can send it to them via Dropbox. You wouldn't even need a website, but even if you had a website, there's sites like Yola.com that you can put up a free site. There's Wix, another site that has a free version. I'm sure there's some others out there that you can get, but uh, that's kind of how you lay this thing out. 
All right. All right. So here's where we are, ladies and gentlemen. What you want to learn how to do is is craft out your I know statements. What is it that you actually know, and how does that become valuable in the marketplace? All right. So you create kind of your I know blueprint, and within the I know blueprint, what I like to do is pull out two or three key points about what it is that I know. Like I asked my wife this question, "What do you know?" She said, "I know child. I know how to raise kids." Okay. So what's three things specifically about raising kids that would be valuable? What are the how-tos that you can teach me as a new parent? Well, I can teach you how to stop your child from bedwetting. Okay, okay great. That's, that's a problem. I can teach you how to um, raise respectable kids. I can teach you how to whatever, okay? So she can create her how-to statement. Then she can start getting into the steps to make that happen. And then a call to action at the end. I know I ran out of space here. Which is where the money is made, okay? So the question becomes, how serious are you about putting together your first line of what I like to call, and I end with this. I want you to write down a website real quick. This is a website. If you have any questions, I want you to start fielding those questions. Write down this website, okay? LarryBeecham.com forward slash brain money. All right. Now, what that basically is is on the this coming Sunday, which is today the 17th, I think that's February 23rd. Okay, at 9 p.m. Eastern, I'm gonna be hosting an advanced class. to help you lay out all of the details it takes for you to start making uh, your line of what I like to call, here comes my little word, invisible real estate. Okay? And this is your, so when you think about real estate, what is real estate? It's something that is physical, something that creates resi uh, residual income, and you can have a portfolio of it. If you had apartment buildings and if you had uh, residential property and commercial stuff in your portfolio, you'd be able to draw income from that. But see, the cool thing about invisible real estate is that it doesn't require a whole lot of money in order for you to build it, but it can actually yield you as much money, if not more, than physical real estate could. So what I'm going to be doing is teaching an advanced class on filling all the details of what I couldn't cover this hour long that we had tonight. I'm running long, I'm sorry. Um, I might have four minutes to go. But invisible real estate, teaching how to create your, your first line of virtual income properties. Invisible real estate is just another word for virtual income properties. Okay, now in this training, what I'm going to teach you how to do is I'm going to teach you how to identify what is your primary I know statement. What is the one thing that you can start building your invisible real estate empire on that has monetary value, that has real value in the marketplace? I'm going to teach you how to recognize on the mountain of value where exactly you should be. Because the importance of the mountain of value is not to go above where you're credible. You want to stay where you're credible and below because that's where your money is and you'll never be challenged on your credibility. And even if you've never made money in that space before, it's not about making money in the past. What it's about is recognizing that I know how to fix a computer or I know how to organize a closet or whatever it might be. You just need to appreciate the fact that you know it and that people want to 
by what you know by way of they've already been doing it somewhere else. You know, one of the things that my mentor, Delatoro McNeil, would say is find out why people call you the most and start charging for it. My wife is one of those people that people constantly call her about things to do around Tampa. She seems to be the one that people can call and figure out where the latest and greatest restaurant or attraction or amusement might be or where they can take their kids or whatever. So I said to my wife, hey, that's, that's a virtual income property that you can start creating. So I'm going to teach you how to identify your virtual income property. I'm going to teach you how to structure your audio, video, or your ebook, whichever one you might elect to do. And I'm going to actually put my eyeballs on it to make sure that you get it done correctly so that it actually monetizes itself. I'm also going to throw in 30 minutes, 30 minutes of one-on-one -on -one coaching. Okay. <clears throat> Right now, my coach, this is, this is a $125 value all by itself. This for 30 minutes of one-on-one -on -one coaching. And what that does for you is it gives me an opportunity to talk to you one-on-one -on -one and make sure that as you create your information products, as you think about creating your audio, your videos, or whatever, that they actually have an opportunity to make money for you right away. I'm also going to teach you how to pick your free product, how to lay that out, I'm going to teach you how to pick your first and second level products, your $7 to $11 product and your $47 to $97 product. I'm also going to teach you how to build that, we're not talking about building and borrowing that credibility. I have a technique that I can teach you using uh, two different websites that you can actually go out and find audiences, of, an unlimited number of audiences of people that you can go into with what you know and get people to allow you in front of their crowd because remember, for me to make $15,000 like I did, I needed an audience. And I didn't have an audience that a 1,000 people would listen to me. Because incidentally, that's how many people was on that web, that conference call, 1,000 people. You can't do that right now, right? But there's people out there who already have an audience of people who would invite you or be open to you coming to their people and creating an opportunity for you to teach on your free item or your free giveaway and on the back end sell them something. There's a structure to that. So you want to go in there and be able to give value in the front, 95% giveaway, 5% takeaway. Give away, take away. Because if the value is good enough, people don't want to spend money with you. All right? I'll show you how to make your first $100 in, in 24 to 48 hours with your first information product. All right? So, again, I know I made this messy. But it's LarryDeacham.com forward slash brain money. And that class is 97 bucks. Um, it's usually a $497 course, okay? But I'm giving you an instant scholarship of $400, leaving only $97 in order for you to enroll at this link here. And, you know, true to form, I'm going to give you a 100% guarantee on the content. All right? 100% guarantee on teaching you how to lay out your info products. <clears throat> This particular strategy is one of the ways that I take care of my family. It's one of the ways we pay our mortgage, put food on the table, gas in the car, you know, take vacations, you know, whatever the case might be. So I live this. This isn't just theory for me. There's, this is a lot to do with how I've been able to uh, grow my business and my brand by putting out educational information products. Okay? So that's tonight's training. Um, if there's any questions, I'll go ahead and take any questions from anybody that might be out there. Joel, if you're still out there, my friend, I'm sure you are. It's 10:01. Um, this offer is going to be available for the next 48 hours. Okay. I know there's people that could not get on tonight because they had prior commitments, but I'll make this available for the next 48 hours, and we're going to take 10 people to the next level. Okay. So don't hesitate. Don't procrastinate. Grab a seat at this training. It's going to be about maybe two hours of training, and it's live and interactive where you can ask me questions, and I can dive in and make sure that we know exactly what it is that you want to accomplish, all right? If there's no questions, Joel, if you're out there, my friend, if you got any questions or comments, I'd love to hear from you. So that's all I have for you guys tonight. It's a little bit after 10 o'clock. I didn't really want to go much past 10 o'clock for the sake of time, and people got to go to work and all that kind of stuff, so... I want to thank you for being here tonight. I want to thank you for listening to tonight's training. I hope that there was something that I said that sparked you to want to create 
you know, your own empire of information. You know, one of my favorite books, which I may or may not even have with me, um, is a Dan Kennedy book about information marketing. It's one of the most lucrative businesses in the world, and I don't have it with me. But one of the things he mentions is that the reason why people leave $100,000 a year on the table that they shouldn't is because they dismiss their value. A real estate agent who sold a half a million dollars a year in real estate does not have an educational product in the marketplace to leverage himself, but he should. A school teacher who's had a record of being able to graduate 80 to 90 percent of her class with A's and B's has an education product or information product that they're not making any money on. Because why? Either they don't believe in it or nobody's ever told them. A coach who's been able to successfully get championship teams or at least kids winning or being able to turn a bad kid into a decent kid that's productive in society. That, that coach has invisible real estate that he's not using as a way to monetize his own knowledge. Okay? So there's so much to this that you can't afford not to want to know how to monetize what you already know. It really is worth it. You know, God gave you that oil for a reason. He didn't want you to overlook it. He didn't want you to despise it. And he certainly didn't want you to miss the wealth in it. So I'm sort of like the prophet Elisha coming along and saying, hey, what's in your mind? Let me show you how to package it. That was the pouring out of the pots with the videos, the audios, uh, and the uh, videos, audios, the PDFs. That's your, that's your pot. You know, pouring out the oil. And that's deciding to just start sharing with people what it is that you know. And, of course, selling is pretty obvious. You know, give people an opportunity to give you money in exchange for your value. One of the things my mentor Myron Golden says is that selling really is unveiling or revealing your value so well. And he says revealing, he does this, revealing it so well that people are happy to give you money for it. It's easy for people to give you money when they can see the value, bottom line. It's not difficult at all. LarryBeecham.com forward slash brain money. Go there now, grab your ticket to our event. Again, that's February, that's this Sunday, February 23rd at 9 p.m. Eastern. Once you purchase your spot, you'll get a redirect from PayPal on the page that the training will be on, okay? So you'll be able to see that. If you have any issues locating that, that's no big deal. Once I see the purchase come through, I'll make sure that I get you the link uh, to begin with. So you can always reach out to me, 727-238-5089, if you got questions or comments about what we talked about tonight. So, uh, again, I want to thank you for listening. I hope that you grab your seat, LarryBeecham.com forward slash brain money. It's time to get them brain sales making you some cash flow. So with that being said, I want to end this as I end every other training that I do. Please do me a favor. Do yourself a favor. Go forth in victory, all right? This training is a wrap. We'll see you in the next training. I'm going to end this hangout. All right. Let's see here. All right. You guys have a great night. And the replay of this, I want to say this, the replay of this is going to be going out. Uh, I'll give Joel, matter of fact, it's the same link that you're on right now. So if you want to catch the replay or Joel, if there's others that you want to send to this training, just give them this link to catch the replay and they'll be able to see it. All right? So go now, LarryBeecham.com forward slash brain money, $97, $400 instant scholarship, 100% satisfaction guarantee, taking the first 10 people who really want to take their knowledge to the next level and sell their very most important valuable asset, and that's the brains, right? <laughs> All right, this call is a wrap. Take care and God bless.